Uh, my name is Bob Cotter. I'm the president of Kersner International. Hi, Bob. Um, do you just give us an idea of, of what you're doing here at ITB uh, 2008, um, what, you're, what you're hoping to achieve here? Thanks. Well, ITB, as, as most know, is the world's largest travel and trade exhibition. And it's, it's an opportunity for us to reach not just Germany and all of Central Europe, but ever increasingly almost all of Europe with the news about what's happening at Kersner. And, and we've got a lot of exciting developments. Um, obviously, our main news has been the $1.5 billion Atlantis, the Palm Dubai, which is really the first opening of the Palm Jumeirah, which people have seen. And now tourists will actually be able to enjoy what uh, many people around the world have really uh, come to understand is going to be a very exciting destination. It's not our only news. Um, for the one and only brand, which uh, has really come to define the top end of the luxury market, we're building in Cape Town, we'll be opening in 2009. We're building in Zanzibar, we'll be opening in 2010. We're building in uh, Costa Rica, we'll be opening uh, there in 2010 as well. We've also broken ground for a fabulous resort in Morocco, in the, the Mag Magazan Resort, which is on the seaside between Rabat and Casablanca. It'll be a major casino convention resort destination. And of course, this year, we announced our joint venture uh, with MGM in Las Vegas, building a 4,000 room destination resort on the Strip, opening in the year 2012. So there's quite a few things happening at Kersner, and this is a great opportunity for us to engage the entire travel community, let them know what our future plans are, where our two brands are going, um, what our growth plans are, We've never tried to be the biggest brands. We want to be the best in the areas that we operate in. So our, our passion is to be the best in the luxury resorts, which one and all only has done with places like Reedy Ra, and to be the best in the destination resort, which Atlantis in the Bahamas and now Atlantis in Dubai is doing, and ultimately what will happen with our major destination resort in Vegas. And what about uh, this stage in terms of you know the last year? Has it been a very good, uh, good 2007 for you? 2007 was a great year for us. We, first of all, um, we were able to open all of the new facilities at Atlantis, the Bahamas. We opened the new Cove Hotel, which really redefined the, the luxury product that we have to offer in Atlantis, created almost a whole new customer basis for us. The adult pool was a uh, cane at the, at the Cove, was a tremendous success. Um, we opened the Reef in December, another 500 rooms, so a total of addition of 1,100 rooms. And the Reef is a condo hotel with kitchen accommodations, the great sitting right on the beach, um, great family product for people to come and enjoy Atlantis, the Bahamas, in a different way. In addition, we opened our Dolphin Key facility. Um, many people know the story around the world where we rescued the dolphins that were affected by the aquarium being wiped out by the, Car by the uh, Katrina, the hurricane in New Orleans. We were able to save those dolphins, bring them into our facility. We've actually had three births since they've come in, um, and customers are just having a fabulous time with Dolphin Key in the Bahamas. And, and we'll open our second dolphin facility in, in Dubai in September. Um, so it was a very big year for us. It was an expansion year for us. Obviously, we've been under construction now for several years at the Palm with, with Atlantis. Um, and, and we saw Riti Ra win several awards last year as the number one luxury resort in the world. Um, and, that, and that has matured wonderfully in the Maldives. Um, and then, of course, we were able to, with uh, Saul Kersner out there speaking um, with developers from around the world, really set the future of the company up to be quite an interesting, high-end, quality-focused uh, luxury resort company. And just finally, coming back to, to ITB again, it's been, it's been a, a good show so far, you know, exciting meetings, and, and there's like a strong market here. We've been really impressed with, with the optimism that's here. Um, uh, these are obviously a little bit uncertain times um, with what's been happening in the real estate uh, subprime uh, around the world and people just a little bit nervous. And we were wondering what we might find, but we've been very well received. Um, we found people here ready to do business, which is always good, ready to contract, which is always good. I always know things are good when people want to talk dates and rates, and they, they wanted to do that. Um, and there's been a real interest in, in this new product. And, you know, there hasn't been, uh, everybody knows the growth story of Dubai, but there's been a real anticipation for the Palm Jumeirah to open to the tourism community, and Atlantis is going to be able to do that. So um, we've, we've not heard gloom and doom. We've heard a lot of optimism. We've been very happy about that, um, and we've been very impressed with the quality of the meetings that we've had here at ITV. Bob, thanks very much, and good luck with the rest of the show.